Everyone ready? All right, we're back, everybody. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Star Wars D6. It's me, Duhad. We're continuing on from where we left off last session, which was still in the same, uh, uh, or last uh, last episode, which is part of the same session. So we're continuing on. Let's go. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, when last we left our heroes, one of them had taken a lightsaber to the chest, one of them had dumped a bucket of water on the other, and one of them, our new hero, um, is having a very, very bad day. Anyway, let's go ahead and deal with the two that are currently together. So, uh, Washin. Yes. You gonna do anything about that wound on your chest? Uh, well, I'm going to lay down on my back, and in between, like, whimpers, I'm going to request that Demi go and uh, look for some medicine. Uh, Painkillers. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there Medigel in this? <laughs> <laughs> there is not, actually. Um, but there are medical supplies on board the ship. In fact, a rather copious amount of them. I gather a uh, uh, role knowledge. <laughs> okay. I know what I should get. Okay, um, um, go for it. Technically speaking, first aid falls under technical, though. Oh, okay. Well, it's the same role, by the way. Okay. <clears throat> uh, seven. Seven, okay. Um, you think you have a good idea of what you need to grab? Okay. <laughs> I grabbed that. Okay. Washin. Yes. Deming is coming back with medical supplies. Can, can I roll tech to see if I can see if that shit's going to kill me? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. Uh, one, How bad was three, it? One, three total, all ones, including on the wild die. Okay, so um, just to give you a good idea of what... Do, uh, what Washington has gone ahead and said is good enough in drug-addled pain. There are bandages. Well, not yet drug-addled pain, just pain. Well, pain, sorry. Uh, through the addled pain, yeah. um, there are bandages. There's um, a couple of different assorted creams that may or may not be helpful. There's a cauterizer. <laughs> Perfect. There's what appears By to cauterizer, be a do you mean lightsaber? No, uh, this is a medical cauterizer. A mini lightsaber. <laughs> um, oh, I... Demi, go ahead and roll me, uh... You got first aid? No. Roll technical. Six. Six! Slap it all on! Just go, <laughs> go nuts. Okay, um... I see no problem with any of this. I'm not gonna, like, cut it open or anything. April? <laughs> yeah? I hope. Go ahead and roll me strength. Okay, uh, Hardy? Hardy. Go ahead and roll me 3D zombs. Uh, I'm so... It's, uh, much better. Much, much better. So that's a 14 total. Zombie, Eleven. what'd you get on that 3D? 11. 11? 11. Well, congratulations, Washin. You are the proud owner of a brand new, very large scar. Also a smell of cooking Duros flesh. Oh. Also the recipient of lovely pain from the gels and creams that were slathered upon that. You're not quite sure about the uh, way that the bandages have been tied I got a, I got a fucking like three with a complication, so I'm going to just assume that like the fact that it's like tied up like a like a ribbon is perfect and going to help with the healing process. Hey, it's not so much that as like it's got straps all over your torso trying to hold on like a pad of bandages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so by the way, does this scar go over the already massive fucking burn scar from where a armor plate was fucking fused to his skin when he got shot with that uh, that one time? Part of it does. Great. Yeah, so there's basically this big fucking just mass of 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 fucking ground beef where his his, his chest should be. <laughs> after after patching up this this burn, Demi goes, Oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, do you know how to do you know how to help me? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
binary scrolls across the screen. Go ahead and make me knowledge. <laughs> damn it. Oh, god damn it. That probably would have helped. Uh, ooh, a six on the on the special die, but a okay. total of eight. Roll it and add. So roll another die. Yeah. Uh, total of twelve. Okay. It takes you a little while to get to this, but you should have asked me earlier. I'm pretty sure I can't undo any of what you just did. Oh God. Oh God. I'm so sorry, Washington. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I should have... Hey, is that the alarm coming from the cockpit about the fact that you might need to be up front to fly this thing down? Hold on. We need to... I just stand up and then immediately fall over. Oh, God, the pain. Okay. Demi. Demi, do you know how to fly a spaceship? Pate, do you know how to fly a spaceship? Pate starts rolling towards the cockpit. <laughs> Quickly, Demi. Uh, grab my... Gift. Grab my wheelchair. Don't ask why I always keep on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty sure you don't have a wheelchair. Yeah, probably not. Give me my crutches. I my fucking you might leg... have those. Yeah, I have my fucking leg blown out previously, so I'd, I'd keep at least that around. So I'm going to fucking, like, hobble. Hobble to the, the thing. Uh, actually, do we have any painkillers? You could have sworn that one of the things that you slathered on Washington's chest oh. was a painkiller. Damn it. Okay. Hey, don't worry, that space morphine will kick in real good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Pate to the cockpit then. Okay. Pate is plugged into a console. How how are things looking, buddy? You're pretty sure that something's scrolling across the screen there, but um, it's not in a place where you could easily look at it. If you wanted to climb up on the, you know, control board, you could probably get a good look at it. Try and translate uh, it. No, I'm 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 good. <laughs> I've caused enough trouble by taking initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. Well, let's see if the astromech is able to pilot you down safely. Ship crashes. It wouldn't be the first time. No, no, it would not. Guess what came up on the wild die? Oh God, is it a one? <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna fucking lose another. I'm gonna lose another body part. <laughs> uh. Fucking Jesus Christ! I'm going. I'm going to get a fucking like concussion. I'm going to end up as like Ian Malcolm in the Lost World book, just like high <laughs> on morphine, giving rambling speeches to everybody, to all the other characters who are actually doing things. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is this is not particularly difficult to do. Um, you can feel shaking and such as the ship flies down through the atmosphere. You can see or, uh, you can hear the sound of the air sort of compressing outside and bursting into flames. You can even see that just comforting glow of knowing that you're coming back to a planet with atmosphere. The not so comforting part is when you hear the chime of the communications panel. Hit the button, Mr. Jamie. Uh, Demi picks a button at random. Okay, you Reference literally said bomb. at random. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good that we actually don't have any weapons because that prevents Kip from being able to be like, oh yeah, you turn on the weapon systems and start firing at the security patroller. <laughs> Life's Demi? Disabled. Why'd yes. you cut the power to the engines? God damn it! It was a one again. God damn it! <laughs> Pate, can you fix this? <laughs> the droid There's is the real hero. Random <laughs> droid screaming coming from Pate as the ship plunges. And you hear more, you know, chimes from the comm panel again. As you Demi, the engines seem to be quieter than usual. Why is that? 
<laughs> everything's okay. Everything's okay. Okay, I might go back to the, the room then. Everything's very. I think it feels like it's rushing around me. I think I might be suffering blood loss. It's like the ship is flying out of the is falling out of the air. Wash it. <laughs> um, you feel your tongue starting to get a little bit numb. Maybe also a bit thick. Oh, oh my God, Demi. Emmy, what did you put on the cream? Just go to sleep, Washin. Uh, we'll be in a better place when you wake up. <laughs> that's what you mean! How do I mean? I start stumbling my way towards the control console. <laughs> oh my god, we fall out of the air! Um, so, Washin, even in your state where your eyes appear to be swelling shut as well, it's a good thing you're a Duros and don't have quite so thick of eyelids as humans do. Um, you can see that the comm panel is really blinking quite fiercely, and um, you imagine that that's probably not good. Oh, that's bad. Both control panels is lighting up. Wait a minute. Oh god, I'm hallucinating. Hold on, I got it. Why? Uh, going through and try and press some buttons to, to stop the ship from falling. Okay, um, so, this is going to be at a full 3D disadvantage. Okay. Go ahead and use space transport. Okay, um, oops, where, what did I press? Okay, there we go. Uh, knowledge, oh, is that mechanics? No, mechanics. Yeah, mechanics, that's usually a total of six, so now it's a total of three plus two. God damn it! What'd you get? Uh, well, I got... First, I rolled two fives, and that's uh, gonna be a twelve, then thirteen because of one on the action die. Oh, excellent! Uh, so fifteen altogether. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So uh, even in your pain-filled, possibly allergic reaction having state, you know your cockpit. Yeah. This is your this is your second home. This is a place where everything makes sense. And everybody knows your name. The engines kick back on. The comm panel is, you know, yeah. given attention to. The ship shakes violently as Pate regains some sort of control, and your swelling face is thrown directly into the camera for the communication system, just as we repeat for the final time. This is Eridu Aerospace Patrol... Well, Re uh, respond, or you will be fired upon. I don't want to come. I'm a oh. Jedi. Dear God, what is it? God. Jedi, Jedi! Jedi! <laughs> Jedi! I see my head bleeding. Yeah, the head bleeding. Yes, there is some green blood that is just trickling down over a split in your scalp. My name is Watson. I'm with the Jedi today. I have a concussion and also a blood face and also my blood coming out. This is my number one. His name is Dad and he's got to take care of it for it. Unidentified freighter, follow Beacon for landing. That means, my pay. boy, you're in charge now. You're the one. You got this, buddy. Hey, you're in charge now. You've got this, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope Pate doesn't roll another one. That's better. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, the ship swings onto the course of uh, a beacon, and you are descending down towards some sort of landing pad. What do? Washington is satisfied that his good friend Demi has totally got this. He's also slightly he's also slightly convinced that you know the uh, that everything is fine, that everybody is on the ship, and that the ship is also some sort of magical you know bus that is you know driving along a lonesome country road, going on a trip with Miss Frizzle. Yeah, he's hallucinating a little bit, a little, a little teeny bit. And also starting to slip in out of a, out of a coma. 
Oh, I don't know about comas, but um, we're unconscious. Your there. breath is rather short. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Dan. And uh, I, I should note that at this point, there is one thing that is very clear to you. That I'm dying again? Well, let's just say that you may be in some sort of danger. Mr. Demi, I believe I might be in yes, trouble. Sure. I want you we'll to get, know. We'll get help soon. It's fine. This is Mr. Demi. If anything happens to me, I will record the will to make sure it gets to the Jijadetta Temple. Also, you are going to take on my legacy and become the Jedi Knight, like your father <gasps> before you. <gasps> You'll take of my life, Demi. Demi salutes and says, I'll make sure your will gets to the Jedi Temple. Good boy, he's, he's made me then, proud, Demi. And then he grabs a pillow and slowly leans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <watch> that space. <laughs> Please tell me that was out of character. Yeah, that was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you actually might want to put a bandage on his head because he does seem to be bleeding a bit. And he probably doesn't have a lot of blood to lose at this point. <laughs> How do I put a bandage on? Nonsense. Blood loss is probably your smallest problem at the moment. True. Hey, how do I put a bandage on? <laughs> You hear a lot of uh, tootling and tweeting coming from the cockpit. None of which you really understand. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, I can't look at his screen, can I? Because it's, nope. it's facing towards the... Uh... Go ahead. <laughs> I grab a pillow and slowly lean on. <laughs> <laughs> No, it. like, it's seriously, go ahead and roll technical. Bandaging okay. is pretty easy. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go ahead, you, you know, grab one of the bandages, you peel off the self-sticking back, put it on, uh, if you wound. Yeah, there's probably something you should have done with disinfecting, but, eh, big deal. They probably have medicine for that on those, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, um, so, you land. Door to the ship opens. And it's not a person in a security uniform who walks in. It's a young girl. No. Believe it or not, you're right. Wait, what? Oh my god. A young Twi'lek girl walks in. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Hall's not out of the woods yet. No. Yeah, what, what, Russian, what is... you you may, if you are conscious enough, have a vague recollection of seeing her before. Uh, considering the fact that like my eyes are swelling shut and shit, I am probably well, here's the thing: you're Duros; they can't swell all the way shut. That's true. That's true. Uh, I would sort of stagger in her direction, and then, oh, <gasps> my God. Who are you? Hello. Is that you? Hi. I'm watching. I'm the Jedi. What happened to you? I had a last brass also a face accident, also got shot, also stabbed, also a chest seal, also hit my face in the console. Sit down. I fall on my face. Can Demi, Demi, Demi looks over to throw Demi. himself under so that Washington doesn't hurt himself more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. Roll dexterity. Okay. Uh, four, D, six, twelve. Twelve, okay. With a one, a one on the critical die. My god, yes. Okay, um... <laughs> Let's see. How much does Washington is. weigh? Not very much. He's kind of tiny. Yes, he is. Well, that's probably a good thing in this case. Um, Demi, roll strength for me. <clears throat> 3d6. Nine. No, by, by tiny, I mean scrawny. But yeah. Yes, no, I, I, I got that. He's... Pretty tall as yeah, far as like, it goes. Yeah, like, but he doesn't weigh very much. Yeah. 
He does, however, weigh enough. Great. Demi, in your haste to go ahead and get under Washington to break poor Master Washington's fall, you might have tripped a little bit and lost your balance some, and Washington's weight drives you to the deck, and that was a really nasty cracking sound that just came from your nose. That's fine. Oh. He's like copper, really. Mr. Mr. Demi, are you okay? I'm okay. Holding his hand <laughs> under his nose to stop the bleeding. Of course, preserve me. We, we have a Jedi down. Are a... you a Jedi? Is he a yes. Jedi? Yes. You're a Jedi. You oh, can the, help. The young Twi'lek girl, girl this ahead, reaches down and pulls each of you up in one hand, despite not looking very strong whatsoever. I'm also a Jedi. I'm and also a she, Jedi. She pats <laughs> your head, Washin. Yes, I know, Washin. I know. I'm sorry, I cannot see particularly well right now. You are a very yes, nice person, though. You appear to be having an allergic reaction. <laughs> Let me see if I can't do something about that. This is, this is Demi. He is like my son, but also my student. If, uh, she pops her head that's, out of uh, the nook that's where. That's so nice of you to say, Washington. <laughs> she pops her head out of the nook where the first aid supplies are kept. Jaina will be so jealous. Is that Jaina? Is that you? Is... She has rather more hair than me. Uh, you feel something stab into your body, and very quickly swelling starts to go away. Ow. 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 I uh, some tablets are placed on your chest. Take those. Okay, thank you. Now, young man, let's take a look at you. I'll be okay. <laughs> it builds character. While this is true, she goes ahead and um, oh, you that's know, actually a great quote. Puts her fingers on your nose and snaps it back into place. Demi's quote is now going to be: "It builds character." <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Um, and snaps your nose back into place, which does hurt, but, well, at least it's straight again. She then uh, goes ahead and rubs some sort of salve on your nostrils, which you can feel just crawl back up into your nose. Which Thank is you. disconcerting, but you feel the bleeding stop. I really appreciate this. I'm now, sorry. Don't <laughs> I'm sorry that I almost crashed the ship. No, it's fine. You know, you've only done it once. That's a good point. <clears throat> Hello, though. Oh, goes ahead and sits down. Well, any landing you can walk away from, right? Indeed. It's, uh, we, we, yeah, we, yeah. The, the important thing, Demi, is that we all, we all made it. That we're all alive. Isn't that right? Wait a minute. Ugh. The Twi'lek girl just kind of huffs. You don't remember me, do you? I'm sorry. I have sort of had a long life. Uh, 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 nice to meet you again, though. Uh, Go ahead and make a knowledge roll to see if you can gather the name out of your memory. Uh, someone's guessing this is straight knowledge, no space waves or pop culture. Yeah, on this oh, one. Oh, <laughs> shit, there's a six. On the actual nice. die, followed by a one, so whatever. Anyway, that's still going still to be... Seven. Yeah, it's still seven. So what is the full? Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Um, Lily? Leia? Wait, Layla? Layla? Layla. 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 Yes? No. It, she, she nods her head. Yes. Huh. And people say, I suppose I didn't make as much of an impression as my uh, fellow students. You're you're one of the um, saber flight, the the master horns students. Yes, and we had heard that you'd be coming. We didn't expect she motions around the cockpit. This. Ah, uh, yeah. You, I, yeah. Uh, he looks around a little. Little awkwardly and says, "Yeah, um, <clears throat> we uh, 
may have lost a couple of people along the way, um, uh, and picked up a person along the way, and a droid, and some more injuries, but uh, we, uh, we we were actually asked by the, 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 the council, by Master Horn, to uh, come in and help you. <laughs> I, I looks, back, looks at himself and looks at Demi and then looks by Lynn and says, we're a lot more helpful than we look. I remember Thyphera. <laughs> right. Look, um... I really don't know what to say. Are you sure you don't need some rest before we start in? <laughs> like, Washington, like, looks at himself again and, you know, kind of feels his chest as... Uh... If you could get a, a wheelchair or a better set of crutches, I should be okay. I mean, this isn't the worst thing to ever happen to me. I, you know, it's fine. Eh. Eh. No, I, I suppose it isn't. Uh, uh, she shakes her head. Besides, we're trying to find some people who've gone missing, and if we delay, it's probably just going to lead to more people getting hurt, so... <laughs> You know, work through the pain and all that. Well, we think that we're on their trail here. We might have gotten ahead of them. Oh, well, that's the best news I've heard all day. I was really hoping that you'd have some of those Bacta shots that you were always using before. Those were mostly... Uh, <clears throat> uh, the person who used to have all of those is no longer with us and also he wasn't getting more of those by the end anyway she covers her mouth oh no what happened ah uh, oh you didn't hear about a cool no he died no what no i didn't <clears throat> i mean he's still alive and i didn't well, you just said that He's no longer with us, so... Yes, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, well, the thing about that, uh, think about a cool with <clears throat> not being with us anymore, it's, it's less that he died and more that he, um... Uh, so... Um... So... Funny thing, remember how we used to have an escape pod on this ship? In principle. Yeah, um, and you notice how we don't have one anymore. I hadn't looked. Ah, well, see, the funny thing about that is the cool, um, <clears throat> um, might have, there might have been a complication and, uh, we parted company, uh, with him in a escape pod, being jettisoned into into a uh, into a busy hyper lane to get picked up by other people, because he was extremely evil and uh, tried to murder an entire camp of mercenaries. And her her brows draw together and she shakes her head. What? As it's, it's really a funny story if you think about it. He, um, <coughs> uh, cool, you know, he's uh, uh, he sort of did, um, you know, like uh, he there were some complications and he sort of was um, turned a little bit towards the dum 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 the uh, dark side and then. You know, uh, there was some force lightning involved and some choking and some crushing people and and then some fighting. And uh, um, long story short, we put him in an escape pod and jettisoned, into, jettisoned out of the ship because he was going crazy and starting to become really, really, really dark-sided. Oh, um, well... I'll see if I can't find something that we can use, and we shouldn't waste any more time. Yeah, yeah, let's <laughs> do that. Not 12. Okay. 
So, Hull. Remember that uh, best day ever that you were supposed to be having? Yes. Remember how it um hasn't been the best day ever? Yeah, my parents are dead, and I'm crawled up crying in a bathtub. There's a backwards-talking dwarf offering you coffee. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Twin Peaks. I don't know oh. Okay. There, um... Also appear to be footsteps outside. Oh, God. Oh. Ah. Boom. Time to hide! Okay. And are, are you going to move from where you are? Or do you have a good hiding space where you've got it? What are you going to try and do? I don't know. Uh, shit. And by the way, it's not just like thumping footsteps out there. There's also skittering. Oh, no. No. Sometimes it sounds like it's tearing metal. Oh, that's not oh cool. no. Is there some kind of lockers or anything in here? Well, you don't see any. Fuck. Uh, medicine cabinet. Okay, going to try and hide in the medicine cabinet. Yeah, sure. Um, I didn't even... I, I was guessing to see if... Oh, no, it, it's an idea. Um, there is a small medicine cabinet of sorts here. It doesn't really appear to have that much in it, and there's not a heck of a lot of room. You could try and squeeze yourself in. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead and make me a perception. Okay. That, that's for hide, right? Yep. Perception hide. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, I have I have a four D in this one. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Well, you go ahead and you tear all the stuff out of the medicine cabinet, shelves included, and you're able to just about fold yourself in there. It's a really tight and uncomfortable fit in there. But the door's most of the way closed. Hopefully they won't look in here. Is there any you way to... even see out through the crack that you just can't close with this door and get an idea of what's going on out there. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. You hear that metal tearing sound again. It's getting closer. Oh, God. And each time you hear two distinct sounds that come from this. One is the sound of metal just being driven into. The other is the squealing sound as something pulls out. And you hear this again and again. In rapid succession, something comes closer to you. Wow. Uh, so, any way to hide further? Well, you could try hiding in a different place, but uh, there's only so much space in this medicine cabinet. Well then... What do? I'm going to stay in the medicine cabinet. Okay. And then some, and then one of uh, April and zombie shouts the something opens. obvious that I'm not noticing. No, no, no. The door mm -hmm. In it are yes. standing what looks to almost be a pair of twins. Come play with us, Hall. Come play with us forever <laughs> and ever and ever. And they look the start uh, rushing into the room. And there's no expression on their face whatsoever. Their eyes are glassy. The muscles in their face are slack. And they're moving in perfect unison. Oh, I've seen movies. <laughs> <laughs> Up until one of them looks down and picks up one of the bottles of medicine that you threw out of the cabinet. Mm. 
Hold my fucking breath. Here we go. As one of them goes ahead and walks further into the refresher, this one's coming closer and closer to the medicine cap. It reaches out to the door of the medicine cabinet. Slowly opens it. You are utterly exposed before it. And then it turns and walks away with the I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go fucking wait until they're completely gone. The door closes behind them. You can hear that metal tearing sound heading off what you assume to be the hallway. There's other footsteps out there. Also, dragging sounds. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna just reclose this cabinet. Good decision. <laughs> Slowly and silently. Through the door. I wait as long as I can. You hear <laughs> muffled voices. Oh, God. What do? <laughs> That's what they say, by the way. No. Fucking no. don't move. What? You think I'm fucking stupid or something? Don't fucking move. Don't fucking move. Okay. What, what am I gonna what am I gonna do? Climb out and then get eaten by a bunch of baby monsters? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen the the, the snatchers from from whatever insert Star Wars planet. <laughs> the uh the voices that you can hear, you can't get any words, but boy, it sounds like they're having an argument. Mm -hmm. And then you hear a thump against the wall. In fact, you feel it as the medicine cabinet that you've stuffed yourself into jumps with the rest of the wall. Oh, boy. Then a second, slighter thump. More words. But the words seem to be moving. Okay. And the footsteps that accompany the words almost have a squishing sound to them. Oh, it really is like that movie that I, I watched through the, uh, the crack in, in the door when my parents <laughs> were watching it. <clears throat> yeah, Dad always did like horror holovids. Yeah. Emphasis on dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. So, Big Hero Jedi. You yes. currently have a brand new backpack. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, no, you have a brand new backpack. It has a small repulsor left in it that is letting you. Just put the barest amount of weight on your feet. Oh my god, I'm the fucking Baron Harkonnen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, very similar in concept. Awesome. You are not nearly so fat, however. Yeah, I, I figured as much, but yeah, okay, so... Uh, kind of like, just slowly kind of like walk... Uh, yeah, very very gently, very cautiously along... Okay, you know, it, there's a hover car sitting there... Um, you know, the door is open for you and Demi. Layla's sitting in the driver's seat. <clears throat> yes. Uh, is there anyone else uh, in the car, or is it just the three of us? Just the three of you. Yeah. I uh, I, I yeah, let Demi in first, and then kind of very slowly, uh, like, my, like get myself uh, seated. And uh, as I do, I look over at Demi and say, I, uh, I'm sorry for not mentioning uh, a cool before now. <clears throat> Uh, it was a subject I hoped not to, you know, broach. Uh, 
you know, so shortly after it happened, but it would it was unfair of me not to let you know that there had been a previous member of our group uh, who was no longer with us. Demi waves this off and says, I don't really mind. You're a great Jedi, and that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're too kind. <clears throat> No, yeah. really, you're too kind. I almost killed us. <laughs> That's, and you it, haven't even reprimanded me. It was my own fault. I shouldn't have the uh, I shouldn't have pushed you so, you know, quickly with the with your training. Uh I we wouldn't have been in the situation if if uh, I'd been more cautious, but uh, the important thing is that through your quick thinking and uh good old uh good old uh, what fuck, Pate, good old Pate's uh you know, skills, we, we all made it out in more or less one piece. Cute kid that you picked up, <laughs> says uh, Layla from the front seat. Uh, Demi here is, uh, he's he's special. He's He has a, you know, uh, connection to the Force that's really impressive. You know, I, 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 and I sense great potential in him. I can feel it too. Yeah. Uh. What Washington does not mention the fact that there's also been a slight pain to his danger sense this entire time. He's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's only getting worse as you get closer to your destination, by the oh, way. Yeah. Oh, no, I just mean, like, whenever he thinks about, whenever he senses Demi's potential, there's also just this <laughs> little pang on the danger sense. He's like, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Background radiation, you know? Danger's all over the place. It's fine. By the way, um, go ahead and make me a sense roll. Okay. Um, that's Am I as well? Or... Uh, you don't have a full D to roll. Uh, for sense, yes I do. I thought you only had a plus one. I have a one in sense, a two in control, and a plus two in alter. Okay, yeah, then uh, go ahead and roll sense. Oh, Yay. sweet babies. I got a one! Cool babies. Strange, but not a stranger. Uh, Fifteen plus... Actually, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 21. No, sorry, 26. 26. 26. 26. Okay, excellent. So, um, Demi, as you yes. uh, reach out, your extension is distracted by a flock of mina birds that are just flying right along the side of the hover car. And you can feel the life and the interplay between the flock and how they wheel and twist. And, oh my god, this is just the best thing ever. Being a Jedi is so cool! <laughs> it is so cool. At least I managed to actually connect to something. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Roll, on the other hand. Yeah. Layla is, you know, talking to you about where you're going and how they think that, you know, there's an ambush that can be set up on these slavers or whatever they are, but it's not really getting through to you. Because you can feel ahead of you, even in the middle of the city, that... It's not a dead zone. Not like last time. It is nauseatingly, entirely full of life. Too much of it. Yeah, Washington's hands. It's not right either. It's twisted. This is bad. Layla, something's very wrong here. What? It's. It's wrong. There, there's something wrong with life here. There's too Wait, much of it. It's, it. It, it's wrong. It's twisted in some way. It's what we're Washington, doing. point to it. It's, 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 like, like it's it's fucking everywhere, isn't it? It's like no, no. Okay. There is a very specific right ahead of you. Yeah. that it is. My my hand just like jerks out and points at it. There. Oh no. Oh no. You are shoved back into your seat as the car accelerates. Oh god, my ribs! No, 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 no. She pulls out a comlink ink. Saber flight, we've got an emergency. It's at ground zero with a Lyra. Demi. Quickly. Yes, Portion. Uh, take my. He like breaches down then suddenly stops and his hand jerks aside blaster take my blaster <laughs> i have my own blaster oh okay uh uh just out of character how good uh, what is your blaster's uh dice 
Like, uh, uh, well, my four for dexterity plus two for blaster. Uh, no, I mean like, uh, what, what's the damage on your uh, weapon? Oh, uh, what do I have it? Three D plus one. Okay, mine's slightly better. So I I pull out the um, uh, my blaster, which is slightly larger and heavier, and say, here, uh, take a uh, the spare then. Whoa! I've never had a blaster this bulky You're gonna before. Need two. I feel it too, washing. Yeah. Can I dual wield the blasters? Yes. <gasps> it is entirely doable. Yeah, actually, um, we'll Washington, see how it ha yeah, how well it works out for you. Yeah, but it's Wa doable. Washington takes off his uh, like his uh, his you know uh, holster and hands it to Demi. Use this as well. You can uh, you know strap them both so that you know do uh, you can carry them both more easily. He takes it. Yeah. Like, uh, oh. when he takes out his lightsaber and glares at it. All right. Okay. The hover car lands in front of the building. Nothing seems wrong from the outside. Yeah, that does not reassure Washington the slightest. He says, <laughs> All right, <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Danger sense really fucking high, and that building is infested. Yeah. Washington opens the door and then looks back at day. Actually, Zombie, how much time do you have left? Pretty much zero okay. seconds. Okay. Uh, Demi, I know that you want to help, and believe me, I don't. I'm not doing this because I don't think that you can handle it yourself. But for right now, I need you to wait out here for me. Uh, if okay, anyone, I'll yeah. I'll protect this area. Yeah. Uh, if if Do you want to take Pate out, with you, no, no Pate. Uh, I need you to protect him. He's he's too valuable, and yeah, you know, to be left here on his own, and that's why I need you to defend him. Okay. Layla is standing out of the car. She's got a lightsaber in her hand. Washing, come on. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, Demi, big job. Okay, you got this one. I got. Ah. I, I believe in you, kid. And then he uh, takes off after Layla. And then zombie come disconnect. <laughs> okay, bye, <laughs> zombie. Okay. Um. So you know, I'm going to assume you're going to head right up to the door. You kind of floating up the steps a little bit with your repulsor pack. Yeah. 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 Layla does not stop and fucking just hauls off and kicks in the door. Okay, so we're just going... I should note, by the way, that these are normally sliding doors. <laughs> yeah. So, so watch them, watch them, like, crack inward and then just goes, okay, yeah, so we're I just know. jumping right into this You can obviously thing. tell that she's using control for this shit. Uh, A wave of hot, fetid air just bursts over you. I start to choke on it and say, damn it, no, not again. There's not much life, uh, light in there, rather. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of life. Yeah, I, uh... I, not no. much light. There's... Occasionally you can see the glow of a glow, uh, the, you know, light from a glow panel that's barely making it through something that's grown over it. But there's also bioluminescence in there. Okay. Some of it appears to be moving. I'm going to, uh, use sense and sense life specifically to try to, mm -hmm. uh, like pick out uh like areas where like the inf like the unnatural shitty horrible life is and also where there's any untainted possible survivor life okay go ahead all right um damn i never roll any sixes on the on the fucking force okay well it's fine that's still six ten twenty and then plus two so twenty two okay yeah very good um well, I mean, the sick, twisted, unnatural life is all over this damn building. And it's spreading. This isn't good. Is there anything still left on intact? Any survivors? Yeah, yeah, there are survivors. And you can feel that the survivors, every single one that you can feel, are being merged, you could say. What the f Fuck! In character. The, 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 fuck. the twisted, unnatural life is growing into them. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to fucking start screaming. Because uh, that's horrific. Yeah. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! There. There are a couple of areas that are clear. 
even though all around them is just absolutely coated in this filth. It's merging them. It's merging with them. This is... Oh, God, it's so wrong. It's so wrong. There's also a couple of... Well, more than a couple. In fact, quite a few. Sources of life that aren't just like this effect. But they aren't normal either. No, 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 no. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. Layla's knuckles are whitening on her saber. Where do we go? They're everywhere. They're merging the people there. We have to go there. There might still be people left alive. But they're, they're okay. merging. Okay, where, where, where do there, we go? That way, this way, pointing, like, it's daggering along. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So, what are you pointing towards? Uh, the the blobo life, like the, the largest collection of technically non tainted life. Okay. Um. Sure. We can do that. You go ahead. And the two of you run into the building. And deeper in there, there is this area where there's just rows upon rows upon rows of people that are just being infested. Ah, uh, no, no. It's, it feels like it's just one big room filled with people. Uh, fuck. You don't know what it might be. Um, but you do know that it's close. And every time Layla is asking you which way to go, and your sense is telling you this is this is the most dangerous thing. This is the worst thing. We should not we should not be here. But you can feel those people being taken. Washington, it's, it's it's there that way. This way, we're gonna die. We're so gonna die. The door is right before you. I like. I'm not even like. Just basically like. Without even thinking, he just whips out his lightsaber and slices uh, the door open. <laughs> you did exactly what Layla did. Yeah. The two of you just pss, door falls into four pieces, and there's just. You can tell that this used to be an auditorium. It was packed once. Oh Jesus Christ! Realistically, it still is. Space. And there's Jesus just, Christ undulating rows of green and purple and black and blue moss covering everything. There's a little light that dances through the air. There's a large metal spider-like being, or at least you think it's a being, perched up on the stage. And as you watch, it rips away a mound of this moss, draws it up into itself. And you can tell that there's a life inside that. I fucking, uh, shit, I gave my blaster to, to Danny. I scream at it. Mm -hmm. I, I scream, don't you fucking hurt them. Or don't you cribbing hurt them. I just are worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. And what do you do? Um, the the spider keeps on, grabs another lump, draws it up into itself. Uh, the only thing I can do really is to charge forward with the lightsaber and try and take a swing at its leg, one of its legs. Okay, roll sense. All right. Um, oh my god. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. You're going to be able to roll dexterity for this one. Alright. Or if you can think of another way to dodge. Uh, but, dodging um, seems like the best way of dodging. Okay, go for it. 
Uh, that's a 16 total. 16. Very good. Oh, wait, sure, that was the action die, so actually let me... Oh, well, okay, 17 total. 17. Not yeah, good, very good. Not really good at rolling the uh, the bonuses. As you just charge forward, you know, the repulsor pack giving you lightness, out of the shadows in the corner comes this black shape that shoots towards you, and your danger sense pops, and you're able to twist out of the way just in time. And you see a cloud of spores goes up as it just carves its way through uh, one of the rows and then flips and pops off into the ceiling shadows. What the fuck is this thing? There was a flash of green from its chest. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? This is a fucking... This is, this is a fucking nightmare. What is going on? Your danger sense goes off again. I fucking start like spinning it around with a lightsaber race to start deflecting things. One of them is flying at you. Yeah, block, 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 block. Okay. Yay. Hey. Ah. Go ahead and roll uh, lightsaber. All right, just lightsaber. Uh, no, uh, no attributes. Well, I mean, this would be using dexterity. Okay. Is this a deflection? Does it count as blaster deflection or? This hey, it does not count as blaster deflection. This is not a blaster. Okay. God damn it. Hold up. Well, okay, actually, that's not terrible. It's not... No, it's pretty bad. Um, six plus five is 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that lightsabers are particularly um, unforgiving weapons. Mm. To those things that run into it. Um, another one of these things is flying at you. And as you, you know, instinctively bring your lightsaber out to block it and almost push it away somewhat, the lightsaber cuts into it and it falls into two pieces as you push it away to the side. A green gem drops um, from its upper half. Uh, I fucking grabbed the green gem. Okay. Um, with upon the... seeing this, Layla has charged in as well. And uh, these things are coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. Uh, fighting retreat! Fighting retreat! We can't leave them! I know we can't leave them, but we need to... You know, we're standing out in the middle here. We're going to get attacked from all sides. We need to We need to keep them at a choke point. Shavit, you're right. Come on! Yeah, fucking... She's reaching down towards her belt. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, falling back to her. Go, go! Go, oh, yeah, okay, f fucking stumble run. Stumble run! Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll right. me dexterity for that. Okay, just straight Go down. ahead and just dodge with it as well. Okay. Hero coward run! <laughs> um, okay, well, that's average, actually, about average. Uh, 4, 10, 15. So 15, okay, seven. excellent. Um, so. As you're doing your stumble run, you know, bobbing along on the repulsors, uh, two of them fly out of you to, like, hit one hit you high, one hit you low. You are able to actually go in between the middle of them, kind of spinning <laughs> and using the repulsor pack. And as you, you know, finally fly through the door, uh, Layla's right after you and just takes the two of them apart in a lightsaber flourish. Yeah. And you can see her drop something behind her as you go. Keep on going! All right, I'm going. Oh, God. There's a loud explosion behind you. Ah. God damn it. How is no one alive in this? I could have sworn someone, like, there were still people, you know, out there. Ah, God. What is going on? So, Hall. Yes? Um, after your terrifying encounter with seeing one of these just like dead looking people face to face and then what appeared to be an argument in the hallway as well as whatever the hell that ripping metal sound was mm. you now hear an explosion and yelling and pop culture okay 
Oh boy, my specialty. Knowing references. I got that reference. Be uh, -huh. uh, that is a 10. Yeah. Nope, that's an 11. I forgot okay. about my bonus. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, go for it. So, um, this is a real easy one. Wow, you could just swear that that's the sound that a lightsaber makes. Oh my god, I'm being saved. Okay. Um, what you gonna do? How close does it sound? Um, the lightsabers sound like they're coming closer to you. As of the sound of crying and shouting. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna put my Slitherhorn to my lips and play the loudest <laughs> I can make with it. Okay, um, so, um... Washington, this has been such a bad day that you must be having a psychotic break. Wouldn't be the first time. If you didn't know better, you were hearing jizz music. What the fuck? Coming out of that retro over there, it's one of the few places that you saw that was clean, that you felt was clean. Oh, okay. There's no you can't feel anyone in there. The over there, where the I guess someone set up a, I guess someone set up a jukebox in there. But it's clean. We we'll, we'll go in there and make a stand there. All right. She tosses something behind her again. More explosions. Yeah. Uh, Washington will run, kicking the door open as he he goes. Okay. Um. So, as you play on your horn, um. A Jedi kicks in the door, and... Oh, by the way, I haven't opened the medicine cabinet. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able it. to see this through the crack. Yeah. Um, yeah. The door, you know, bursts open, and someone in very badly disheveled Jedi robes, but who is carrying a lit lightsaber, uh, comes in. Boy, do they look scarred up. That Duros is worse for wear. Followed by a Twi'lek woman who is also carrying a lightsaber, but really looks far more together. <laughs> Where's our backup? We are the backup. We were the backup. Oh, God, bro, look at that die. Did I not just say that Alira was supposed to be searching this place? That she was staking it out? Oh, my God, where's Alira? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. Oh, hell. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll use the force. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay, come on, force. Help us out here. Don't let me die. Come on. Uh, it's something for life, to, and I'm going to try to make it a Lyra. Oh, say on the action die. Nice. Uh, that's going to be a 2 or 10. Uh, 21. Uh, 23. 23. Yeah. By the way, while you're going ahead and doing this, um, you can hear the sounds of things getting closer. Oh, God, 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 oh, God. Um, do I hear the skittering again? No, this isn't so much skittering. This is more rapidly squishing feet. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. It's like saying I have all my horror hall events. Uh, by the way, we're at the yeah, hour mark, so do you want to take a break, a quick break, and then uh, pick up for one last hour? Or another hour? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. See you guys in the next part. <laughs>